we've had a lot of fires in the past that have left the property and gone onto the neighbor's property and there's other businesses around and that directly affects their their business and it's just not good for us um, it's not good for anybody hi i'm toby secreta i work here at biomass one white city oregon and i'm in charge of fire suppression and, and i work in operations well years ago when i first started here hey, you got a flame you got a fire <laughs> get the loader over there and push some fuel over it and cover it up. Um, then it kind of progressed on that we had the we had uh, dedicated fire watches that would just drive around and, and watch the pile. Um, but a lot of times they weren't able to see the fires because they would happen when they were on the other side of the pile. Um, so we went started putting stationary personnel to sit there and watch the pile. And with stationary personnel watching the pile, there was a there's a lot of uh, issues with that. They call in sick, they, they fall asleep because they're just sitting there all day for 12 hours. There's just issue after issue on it and just trying to staff personnel to do that job because nobody really wanted to sit, uh, you know, in a chair for 12 hours and get up and walk around every once in a while. Oh. Um, that's where the thermal cameras came into play. That's, they don't sleep. They, they work around the clock. Well, it was a long journey and it started, uh, of course, with the struggles we we're coming up against. Um, so we had some problems and some pretty big fires. My name's Ryan Burns. I'm from Biomass. I've been here 26 years and I'm the operations superintendent. Toby, one of our guys here, had a little thermal camera on his phone. And I remember driving around the pile out there and I'm seeing Toby use that phone and he's looking at the piles and I'm like, what is he doing now? <laughs> I knew we were having troubles around, you know, here at work, you know, around our fuel piles. So I started just seeing what I can see with it around the fuel pile. And I started noticing hot spots. And as I started digging into these hot spots, I would notice that that's going to be a fire in the future. And I, it just started going from there. And that was just from a small handheld one, a little cheap $200 thermal imaging thing that went on my phone. The only problem with having a handheld camera is that you're only gonna see that problem when you're right there. And our piles are changing all the time. Um, our loaders are constantly moving the fuel around, which is exposing more hot spots. But you check them with the handheld, you're walking around the fuel pile, it's one time a day. We needed something a little more. That was where it wasn't working 24 seven when we needed it. So then Toby uh, found Mobby Therm on the internet and uh, the rest is history really. The fire department knew we had a handheld thermal imaging camera that we would go around with. But before we purchased this system from Mobby Therm, we ran it by the fire marshal and said, look, this is what we want to do. We showed them the whole brochure. Um, we showed them the images of what we have you know, planned because we, you know, we integrate that with our, our sprinkler system that we have on our fuel pile. And uh, they were all for it. Um, and in fact, they were, they were hoping that everybody in the area would do the same thing that we would do. My name is John Patterson, and I'm the Division Chief of Risk Reduction for Jackson County Fire District 3 and the Fire Marshal. We've had a number of um, big fires here at the fuel pile. It's, it's one of those things that happens in situations like this when you pile up a bunch of combustible materials and it generates heat. So over the years, we've worked really close with biomass to come up with solutions to help prevent those fires. And so they brought this forward and we looked at it and we thought this was a fantastic idea. The history of fires here, I mean, we started having fires, you know, the year the place was built. It's super important for us that a fire does not come out of the pile, does not become unmanageable by biomass. They gave us access to the dashboard so we can look at the pile. Let's say I'm coming in on my way to work and I see a couple of hot spots. I don't have to call Toby, I don't have to call the guys here, I can just go to work, pop it up, it looks like they're monitoring it, okay, they've, they've got a handle on it. Believe it or not, we have a couple of concerned business owners that have our direct cell phone numbers, and when they see things happening on the pile, they call us, because they're concerned. Their businesses have been disrupted or damaged because of fires. so. One of the things that has been very advantageous on our end is to convey this information to the neighbors and the concerned um, citizens and our board members, the actions and activities that biomass continues to take to make this safer 
for the community. The early detection and the infrared is just that next step um, in the evolution to keep the pile monitored and as safe as possible. There's a lot of risk involved. You know, we are not out in the middle of nowhere. We are in a, in a city. My name is Nick Abney. I'm a work at Biomass Once. And what I do here is basically oversee every day-to-day -day operations. Life was more of a surprise. Hey, you would get a phone call, somebody would call on a radio. Hey, we got a fire on this side. And by the time you got there, maybe a campfire turned into half of a side of a fire. We only have view from the control room of this west facing side of the pile. So if there was a fire on the east side, uh, we have to go all the way around and we don't know what exactly we're into. And so with the cameras being the way placed the way they are, we can see prior to going out there. Uh, OK, we got a little one on this corner so I can get the loader operator to go to that spot, knowing that he's going to be able to handle that one verse it's the whole side. We were going out there, I mean, when it come over the radio, you know, fire on the pile, east side, and all the mill ranks, everybody, we all run out there, take our golf carts and get out there and start putting the fire out. Uh, and so that's taken away from other operations at the plant. You know, we're here to make power, not babysit a fuel pile. With the cameras and the thermal imaging concept, we can see that there's a hot spot in this, in this pocket. So we can go in and mitigate that problem right then and there. So made it a faster response time. Being very familiar with infrared technology and how to use it and implement it for finding heat, taking action against that heat, and then evaluating the effects of that action are game changers for us. And so being familiar with that and knowing how effective it is, it was simple for us to support what biomass wanted um, to implement here. Once we understood the whole program and how they wanted to roll it out, it was a no-brainer for us. If we're moving the pile around or we get a hot spot, um, even with not moving the pile around, and we're sitting here on a day-to-day -day basis and, and a hot spot shows up, the camera will pick it up and it will send an alarm from here to here. Go ahead and shut your drag chain off. And it'll send an alarm from here to here, just like that, except for it'll tell us a thermal imaging alarm. Um, and so then we can turn around and look back up here and say, oh, it was on this camera at this point. And if it was something that was uh, in danger, then I know to get everybody going to where they need to be to prevent that fire. Our supervisors and superintendent all get alarms on their phones as well. On our cameras, we, have, we can do uh, what, email? We can do a uh, voice, a call, where they'd actually call, leave a, a pre-programmed message, or it just sends you a text message. And we found the text messages were so much easier. And uh, so you can click on that text at any time and it'll show you a picture of that fuel pile, which is pretty awesome actually, because uh, you know exactly which camera is triggered, you know exactly where the, the fire is at at that time. It'll show you that current image from when that, that camera snapped that photo. If we get a fire or anything, a hot spot, I'll get a text right to my watch when I'm at home. You know, all the management get texts when that happens. And so we just give a call, make sure the control room's got it under control. Um, we can look at the picture, you know, and we can actually see how the pile looks. So everybody's got a phone on them. You know, and I could be anywhere. I could be on the lake fishing or something. And, you know, say, hey, you got a fire over there. <laughs> you know, most of the time, you know, they, they take care of it down here, but. If I start getting more and more messages, like time after time after time, then I know what, maybe something's going on. They might need my help. Maybe I need to go in there, help them out so I can make a phone call and see what's going on. I mean, it's what we've been missing since I've been here, really. The fire department's been pretty happy about it. So, and the last time I talked to them, they said, yeah, you guys haven't called this. Uh, we haven't been called in for a long time, at you guys. I have to say that biomass has just been cooperative and, you know, upstanding at every turn, trying to do everything that's right to mitigate the problem. Before it was everybody out there, fire hoses and everything else. So now we're doing it before. We, we get that notification early. So this has allowed us all to have a be little better home life, I would say. And at work, we're able to focus more on the job at hand instead of babysitting a fuel pile. 
to anybody that's working with hog fuel and have piles like this um, that you should definitely get this system uh, for peace of mind, for insurance. There's so many reasons. Uh, morale around the plant. You know, nobody wants to see us burning neighbors down or fires in the field or any of that stuff. It just made everything better. It really has. The system works. It's, it's a good system. You know, with the push notifications that you get on it, it's simple to install. It works.